Uh, Standard Chartered Bank Ghana has been able to secure blessing from the Bank of Ghana to announce dividend to shareholders for the financial year 2019. The development, according to the bank, is due to its significant performance for the year in spite of the challenging banking environment. Board Chairman of the bank, Dr. Emmanuel Kumar, disclosed this as a shareholders, to shareholders at the annual virtual, the virtual annual general meeting. And here's a report by Eben Sabuti. Well, again, I mean, these are uncertain times, so they're not ideal times for banking. But the services are required, and we're committed to continuing to The bank recorded a strong growth with underlying operating income increasing by 20% from the 2018 results. This growth, according to the managing director, Mansanetti, is the highest percentage growth in the last five years. As a result of this success, the bank is going ahead to pay dividend to shareholders in contrast to directives from the central bank for a suspension of dividend payment due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. According to the board chairman, Dr. Imano Kuma, Standard Chartered Bank is one of the banks given the green light to pay dividends. Although we recommended the non-payment of dividend in the annual report, we have subsequently obtained approval from the Bank of Ghana to do otherwise. The board is therefore recommending a dividend payout of 1.56 Ghana cities per share. This represents a 50% increase on what we paid for 2018. During the year, two new members were appointed to the board. Mr. Sheikh Job was appointed executive director, and Mr. Kwabna Nifaini was appointed independent non-executive director. Managing director of the bank, Mansa Nete, added her outfit will be working strongly with clients that are likely to be affected by the pandemic to find a sustainable solution of mitigating the impact. Working with vulnerable clients through this period, we can help reduce the impacts of the crisis on the business. We, however, continue to seek the opportunities in growth areas of the economy, consistent with our strategic priorities, which we believe will mitigate the risks. We would also draw on lessons from the difficult periods the bank has been through in the recent past to minimize expected losses. This is evidenced by the recent announcement of our landmark 78 million euro structured financing of the Eastern Regional Hospital in collaboration with the Export Credit Agency of the UK government. Standard Chartered further posted a strong profit before tax of more than 424 million cities, representing a 30% increase in year on year.